Is this a toxic or clean laundry detergent? Seventh generation, Ecos, BioClean, Molly Suds, Method, Branch Basics? We've investigated over 35 laundry detergent companies to figure out which was the best one out there. Toxic laundry ingredients are associated with skin irritations, allergies, respiratory issues like asthma and hormonal disruption. But on this episode of Heal Thyself, we chose the best three laundry detergent brands in the whole industry to make a safer home for you and your loved ones. All right, so the biggest problem with conventional detergents like Tide or, or Bounty or, or what's another one? I can't remember. Dawn? But Tide or Bounty for sure. Chemicals, right? Of course, we know that. But they have phthalates. Phthalates are one of the major chemicals that are associated so much with fertility issues. And they're commonly found in most detergents. And they're one of the main endocrine system disruptors. They affect our hormonal balance. They mimic estrogen. And that's problematic, right? Especially for men. It's going to disrupt our testosterone levels. For women pushing estrogen dominance, little girls, right? Early periods, hormonal issues. And it can be so much to do with the laundry detergent that they're being exposed to all the time. Down the line, reproductive issues could even be adding into developmental issues. So that's the biggest problem with phthalates. Look for phthalates. Look for phthalates in your shampoo. Look for phthalates in your hand lotions. Definitely in anything with fragrance or scented colognes, phthalates. And there was a study in 2005 that found that phthalates interfere with hormonal function. They can actually lower testosterone levels in males. And this is significant because we actually believe that one of the biggest with microplastics, BPA and phthalates, those are the biggest drivers of so much infertility that we're seeing. And according to Shana Swan, 30 years from now, most couples will be infertile. It's a huge problem. It's a public health problem, actually. And the study actually showed that phthalates exposure in pregnant women showed up in actually the genital development of their male infants. They actually have smaller penises because of phthalates. That's incredible. That's, that is like Wow. You know, when I learned about that, I was just mind blown that this chemical can be actually driving forth these children, this generation of children with smaller penises. Isn't that crazy? Phthalates can create smaller penises and phthalates can be found in laundry detergent, right? So when you're pregnant, you got to be on top of the laundry detergent that you're using. You, it's one of the first things you got to think about. We're about to get pregnant and it's really important that we do an audit of the home if you haven't yet, and laundry detergent is up there. Carcinogens, for sure. Uh, a lot of these laundry detergents have 1,4-dioxane. That's problematic. It's a byproduct of surfactant production that's making the laundry detergent be really sudsy and cleansy, uh, but it's known as a probable carcinogen. Studies have shown that even trace amounts of this chemical can contaminate the water supply and pose really long-term health risks. Um, 1,4-dioxane, we know that long-term exposure in animal studies showed liver and kidney dysfunction, uh, and as well as in human health, we've concerned with the same. Also, respiratory issues coming out of exposure to these chemicals. And we asked our companies that we investigated about formaldehyde, but that's present in many household products, especially laundry, laundry detergent, known carcinogen, uh, group one carcinogen. So yes, it causes cancer. We want to avoid it at all costs and respiratory issues. Formaldehyde is also found in many furniture pieces. So this is why I always say like, if you're going to buy furniture, get some solid wood. Get Ask them, do you use chemically based glues to put this furniture together? You got to ask your companies, right? And if, and if you haven't, then maybe when you invest, get some solid wood, make sure they're not using any chemically based dyes, any, any chemically based paints or, or varnishes or glues, and just make sure that you're protecting yourself. So also furniture. Volatile organic compounds, big one in laundry detergent. This was probably the thing that I felt really reactive to as a child. A a exacerbation of allergies. It can cause asthma. It's, it's a lot of these um, laundry detergents that even say that they're green or unscented actually still emit harmful volatile organic chemicals. And this is disrupting our home air quality. So that's one of the biggest ones, those fragrances, right? They also use optical brighteners to really give it color, right? That when you put it in there, it's that blue color. And those can really push allergic skin reactions, especially in people who are sensitive. So this is something like eczema. If you have a child who has eczema, 
I always talk about, let's look at dairy, let's look at gluten, let's look at parasites, and let's look at the home exposures. One of the big things is laundry detergent. I remember I had a, a client uh, when I was in a pediatric shift in school back in 2013, and uh, eczema in the child, and it came down to the Tide detergent. They took it out and the eczema was gone. They're like, oh, wow, why don't we think of that? Because we don't think of that. No one ever teaches you. So really think about that. You guys are all empowered. They have antibacterial agents in there too for the cleansing action. And uh, triclosan is one of them. This is actually a nasty one. It can disrupt the microbiome, especially of a young kid. And it can lead to antibiotic resistance from laundry detergent. Yes, it bioaccumulates in the environment. It can impact aquatic ecosystems. It can impact the microbiome. It's a big one. SLS, SLES, surfactants. I've talked about these many times, especially in soaps and shampoos. These are chemical detergents that basically, they break down grease. They lead to skin irritation, especially in people who have sensitive uh, sensitivity to different chemicals, increased permeability, especially in the skin's barrier. So it can really affect the skin. It's a big one for skin. These things are also leading to eczema and disruption of overall skin health. Um, but also respiratory issues. Anything that is allergic usually is coming with SLES. So if your child has these, you you just wash a conventional with conventional laundry detergent, they put on the clothes and they're sneezing or their eyes are red or they're really itchy, it's probably the SLES, okay? And lastly, the microplastics. Believe it or not, there's non-biodegradable ingredients that are in these laundry detergents that are leading to the release of these microplastics and it's in the waterway it, because it goes through our laundry system. It accumulates in the oceans and the rivers. It comes back to us, ironically, back in the food chain. Microplastics next to phthalates, one of the biggest things when it comes to infertility. It's found everywhere. Uh, disruptive leads to, leads to hormonal disruption for sure. Inflammation, immune, immune disruption, it's a big one. And aquatic life. We, you know, we want to make sure that we're responsible and we are here on earth and not taking advantage of everything around us and knowing that we're not disconnected from nature. We want to make sure we're responsible and we live in integrity. And we want to make sure that our actions in the home reflect that, right? So a lot of these laundry detergents don't care about the environmental impact and it's problematic. So we got the idea, okay? Know that a lot of the, you've been voting with your dollar. You've been putting the money in to buy and support companies that are doing right by you. And big companies that don't care about your health, are seeing that and looking that they can turn a profit. So they're greenwashing. So a lot of these laundry detergents are making really vague claims, right? They're using non-specific terms, no clear definitions, no clear certifications. We are green. We are eco-friendly, right? Notice no certification, right? No explanation actually on what the environmental impact can be of using this one or, or how they're saving the environment natural, right? Misleading, right? It can even have harmful ingredients and, and know that because it's natural, does it always mean that it's not harmful too? Non-toxic, big one. It's an unregulated term. It, it can still be used even if the product has harmful ingredients. Biodegradable, great. It, it may apply to a single ingredient in the laundry detergent that is biodegradable, but the rest still may be harmful, may accumulate in the ecosystem plant-based. Okay. This may suggest that it, it has some plant-based ingredients, but may still contain a lot of synthetic ones. Plant-based what? Fully plant-based, all plant-based, right? All earth-based. Dermatologist tested another one. It doesn't necessarily mean that the product is free of any irritants. And they're adding like false labels. A lot of these companies are coming up with their own certification. It's like eco leaf green certification. You know, who made that up? What is that even, right? <laughs> no, you're the only product under that certification because they made up their own certification, right? It's like, I love Siete. I love Siete. You know, I, the, the chips are great. They have a great line of products. What the hell is Abuela approved? You know, I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm Latin. I know what that means. You know, grandma approves, but what certification is that, right? So, okay. So we want to watch out for companies that are making their own certification and promoting it as safe when it could have a bunch of harmful other ingredients. And a lot of these are saying that like, we have these like amazing sustainable packaging, right? It's, it's earth friendly and, and inside of it are these toxic harmful ingredients. So just know that you kind of have to have that awareness 
right? You want to be at a knowledge level of at least C and above, A, B, and C. If you're on D and F, you're just walking on autopilot and just reaching for something and buying it. But we want to be at least in a C and being like, okay, okay, I see what's going on, okay? Ingredient transparency, you want to avoid any vague terms like fragrance, right? Which can contain many harmful chemicals. I spoke about that so many times. We know how we're being greenwashed. Now I want to empower you before we get to this list. I want to empower you with how to look for a product, right? How do you look for laundry detergent? You want to look for ingredient transparency. You want to see that a company is avoiding any vague terminology like fragrance. I spoke about that so much, which is an umbrella term for so many chemicals. You want to see if it has sodium lauryl sulfate, SLS, or sodium laureth sulfate, SLES. You want to avoid those. You want to avoid those surfactants. You want to look for certifications like EPA Safer Choice Certification, Eco Logo Certification, Green Seal Insured Safer and Eco-Friendly Ingredient Certification, okay? You want to uh, support companies that are Leaping Bunny certified so they're ethical, they're not harming animals and making them, right? You want to avoid the harmful chemicals like phosphates, you know, looking for things like, does it have TSP, trisodium phosphate? Does it have phthalates that's often hidden under the fragrance part, which you won't, won't even know what the ingredients are under that umbrella term. So you want to just avoid anything that says fragrance. 1,4-dioxane, I mentioned that as a carcinogen. Watch out for that. It might not even say that directly, but it might say PEG or other ethoxylated ingredients, right? Looking again so for sodium lauryl sulfate. Looking instead for things like sodium cocoa sulfate or cocoa glucoside. These break down a lot more easily in nature. And when it comes to fragrance, look for natural fragrances. Look for essential oil fragrances, not just fragrance, but maybe they have lavender oil or lemon oil. No optical brighteners. Avoid anything that says uh, still bean dye, styro, bi, phenyl, or dye, amino, still bean, disulfonate. Okay. So you can write those down on your phone. Just, just watch out for that even though I'm, I'm going to tell you which ones are the best anyway, but just always keep an eye. You always want to know how to buy proper, in, proper laundry detergent. Again, if companies go out of business or they get too expensive, you always want to know how to switch it up and what to do. So there's your rule of thumb. And with that said, let's get into this product review. Okay. So we reached out to over 30 companies and I want to know, is your laundry detergent plant to earth based? Are you using phosphates, right? We talked about phosphates. Are we using chlorine, which can disrupt your microbiome? Are they using uh, sulfates like sodium lauryl sulfate, uh, sodium laureth sulfate, SLS, SLES, respectively? Do they contain parabens, which we know are hormonal disruptors, formaldehydes, carcinogens, allergens, fragrances, which is the umbrella term for a lot of chemicals. This was a big one for us. And do they have any safety or pur purity certifications? Is this laundry detergent biodegradable? Does it break down over time? Is it eco-friendly, right? What's the packaging like? These are companies that we really want to support. So I want to let you know that the majority of companies did not correspond. They, we reached out to them multiple times. We didn't get much from them. So if you are using any of these laundry detergents under this list, it may behoove you to move to another one. Truly Free, Dirty Lab, Earth Breeze, E-Cover, Clean People, Method, Tide Pods, of course, Rosie by Thrive Market, Ecos, surprisingly, Charlie's Soap, Meliora, Miley, Nellie's, Trader Joe's, Roma, Skip, Arm & Hammer, eh. BioClean, surprisingly, Attitude, surprisingly, Puracy, surprisingly, Zoom, Target, Kirkland, Purcell, 7th Generation, not surprisingly, Rocking Green, and Norwex. When it came to other companies that reached back out, but not with much helpful information, like they didn't really answer any of our questions. They just corresponded with other stuff. It was kind of weird. Hey, Sunday, I'm sorry, but like, I wish we had more information. Okay. So middle of the pack, here are some of them that need improvement, meaning that they didn't check off the list to really have a laundry detergent, which I can get behind. Clean Cult and Nine Elements. They look pretty good on the surface. Uh, surprise, like Clean Cult has a great website and I really want to support this company because they're really pushing sustainability. I love that. I love that. Why is there fragrance in there? Like all they had to do was take out the fragrance. They would have been one of the best ones there, you know? And, and I was looking on the website 
it doesn't mention anything about the fragrance. What is it made of? What is, does it have essential oils or is it chemically based fragrance? But if you're putting fragrance on the ingredient, then I'm going to assume it's just fragrance, right? The other one is gain. Uh, they look good across the board, but they have some formaldehyde. So I can't get behind that. And then last but not least, here are the three best ones. Here are the ones that really had no phosphates, no sodium lauryl sulfates, sodium lauryl sulfates, chlorine, parabens, fragrances, formaldehyde. They, um, some of them have safety and purity certification. Some of them are working on them. Um, most of these, I think all three were biodegradable. Some are working on eco-friendly packaging and they're ethical. So not surprisingly, I've worked with two of them in the past because they're fantastic. I've used two of them in the past because they're fantastic. And those are Branch Basics and Molly Suds. Really, really good ones, um, affordable. And they are all about, and, and it's interesting because there's only three. I'm going to mention the third one, but there's only three out of so many. Like This is still a big industry of which can be leveraged, right? After so long, there's only really three. Um, but Branch Basics and Molly Suds are, are really fantastic products. They clean, they do the job, they smell good, they are devoid of those chemicals. Like if I had kids, I'd be using those too. The other one, which is new to me, Defunkify. Like this was, the, uh, shout out to the person who asked to review this one. I went on the website, cool website. Uh, they're doing it right too. They're doing it right. And, and, uh, and to see like a company up and coming and I haven't yet heard of, but to learn about a company, great. Defunkify, fantastic, free of all of these chemicals. Um, uh, they, they're just, they're doing it right. So these are the three companies that like, if you have kids, invest in a proper laundry detergent because the clothes that go on that child, especially a newborn, you want to make sure that you are doing everything in your power to protect that kid from those phthalates, from formaldehyde, from fragrances, from chlorine, from all of those things. It's like crazy what children are inundated with. Like, and don't be afraid of this world. Don't be afraid, but just know that we have the power to do our best to protect them. Getting a nice air purifier, cleaning out the clothes in, in, in non-chemically based laundry detergents, right? Making sure there's no fragrances. Then you're giving the kid a fighting chance to grow up in a healthy, healthy body with a healthy physiology. And that's our responsibility as parents. So I really hope you got a lot out of this. I really hope that you learn how companies are greenwashing and what to look for and why conventional, stop using the tide, stop using the bounty. It's time if you still are and make sure your kid ain't using it either, okay? So all the love. Thank you for listening to Heal Thyself and supporting the show. As always, I love you all. I love you. I really do. My heart is open, cracked open. Have a good rest of the week.